Oh, folks. Welcome to another bonus episode. You would not believe what I had to go through to get Mr. Lucid here up and ready to go so that I could record this for you. Whew. Man, I hope to hell that's enough constitution. So, through various chicaneries and shenanigans, I was able to make Mr. Lucid here. Uh, as you can see, he exists solely for the purpose of killing the Night Terror. It seemed fitting to me. So this is what we'll be doing. So, uh, I was about to re-record a macro. Attack, yes. And again, this is someone purpose-built for this fight. Well, it's could have sworn he should be getting more attacks than this. I mean, I want you to look at that. 101 and 90. Yeah, so the Night Terror is not much of a threat. Um, I could have sworn that in the Commodore 64 version he would actually attack you. But he never really did much damage. And I mean, yeah, I've got pseudo Chitin armor on this character. But I, I seem to remember him not really being able to punch through like a rad suit. He was... The threat was never his attack. It was just the fact that, well, you thought that it was impossible to kill him. And I mean, this is someone with like 50 strength, proton axe. I mean, if you were doing this with a gun, you'd run out of ammo. I, I remember as a kid deciding that I was going to kill the Night Terror. Uh, gosh darn it. And I brought a character in here with... Might have been using an Uzi at the time. And I burned through all of my ammo. And I was doing it without a macro, too, because it was on the Commodore. And so I had a split party, so I had to keep doing... Do you want the other guy to do this? Yes, no, and all that. You know, I wasn't just pushing Shift F10 over and over and over again. So, and I also brought in, I think, three flamethrowers. I saved up the money to get the flamethrowers, because I was like, flamethrower will do it. No, flamethrower was garbage. Don't use flamethrowers, folks. They're not worth it. So there we go. 64,000 experience. So 32,000 if you kill them with a gun. That is the... Well, I say the toughest monster in the game, but I don't know if he's really particularly tough so much as he just has a lot of hit points. 32,000 hit points. And so, yeah, so the damage is 5d6. So if you're wearing a rad suit, you're removing five dice from that damage code. So... Yeah, if you want to do it, a rad suit or a Kevlar suit will be enough. And you could just slowly beat him to death and get a lot of experience. But, again, we're doing this with uh, 40 strength, 40 agility, um, and a proton axe. 
So your mileage may vary. But there you go. Yes, you can kill the Night Terror. Not generally recommended. I mean, if you really want the XP, go for it. But you're going to be here for a long time to beat him down or you're going to burn through a lot of ammo. You know, even on the old DOS version, using the Red Rider, Red Rider only does about seven to 800 damage. So that's still five shots. Yeah. So there you go. Just wanted to show off uh, Drop in the Night Terror. I had some time, so I figured I'd uh, get loose it all up and ready to do it. Um, he's in no shape to do anything else, but we got the night terror. So, until next time, have a good one.